Well, good afternoon. I'm set up here on my front porch. Uh, Tropical Storm Cristobal is on its way. But I thought I'd go and do a little thing on the survival books, survival manuals. Um, how to live, how to survive on land and sea. That's the basic United States Navy uh, survival manual. This one you can read real plainly. This is the fourth edition, which was printed in 1984. This one, which I don't know, it's very hard to read. The name says the same thing. Um, I'll open it up, How to Survive on Land and Sea. Now this is the 1943 version, which this would be the very, very first edition of How to Survive on Land and Sea. Uh, I think just last year they put out a new edition. I don't know what edition they're, they're on right now, but uh, that's the fourth edition right there in 1984. Uh, so there's you know, probably another half a dozen issues. Now I've got a National Geographic right here and uh, this is January of 1948 and there's an article here called We Survive on a Pacific Atoll and it's by um, Oh, John and Frank Craighead. Now, the Craigheads, their brothers, they've been around. Uh, you'll find them around the Grand Tetons. They've written a number of uh, books. They're big uh, researchers on grizzly bears. So this is like the very first, one of the very first things that these guys did. And the Navy sent them out and put them on Kwajalein, an atoll around Kwajalein in the Pacific. And wanted them to develop techniques techniques to live off of uh, off the land and the sea there in the South Pacific. They also had a Pacific Islander with them which was really uh, made the article because he showed fishing techniques, fire making techniques. So it's a great beginning. And so uh, the next issue uh, was 1951. So this was probably research done to get to the next issue in 1951, uh, after 1940, 1943. So that's the basic manuals. The Craigheads now are listed as authors here. They are not listed as authors here in the uh, original version of it. One of the great things about this original version is in the back, there's an appendix and it shows you the outlines and the topics and everything for the Navy uh, survival training. So you could actually take this book, it has the lectures, it has what they call the field trips. So they'd have classroom and go out in the field and do various things. And it, it has the complete outline of that. Uh, it's, it has a list of, well, this is what you'll need to do this portion of the training. And uh, I, uh, I found that really interesting. And it's also very interesting if you go through these various issues to see uh, the changes and how uh, how technology and, and what we've learned uh, have progressed over since 1943. So if you ever get a chance to, to look at some of these uh, back issues of National Geographic, these older and original uh, version of how to survive on land and sea, I uh, highly recommend uh, you look into it. I think you'll find it really uh, an interesting read and exploration.